Hey, my friends, this is The Art of Prepping. It's, it's very interesting when you look at people's approach to gift giving. Some people do a lot of research, months and months of research, and they, they spend an ungodly amount of hours trying to find that perfect gift because they want to convey that sense that they really did think this through. They want something that is practical, that's going to be useful in their everyday life, that's going to help their quality of life. And a lot of people also want that gift to be fun and something that they can really appreciate and have a, a level of, of pride, of ownership. And I think those are really good types of points to, to look at when you're getting to that point that you're thinking about a gift for someone. And the way I start out a lot of times with people is, is trying to pay attention to what they pay attention to. If they're at a store, what do they notice when they're in a store? Or if they're online and they're like on a site called like Amazon or I don't know, whatever site they're on, right? Pay attention to what they look up and don't just kind of forget that stuff. Write that down if you have to. Also look at what they use in their everyday life. What kind of things do they actually uh, gravitate toward and, and actually interact with? And lastly, what's in their pockets? What do they carry around with them all day? Do they have a, a favorite type of, of, of pocket knife brand? Do they have a, a favorite type of a, a flashlight? Or do they need a flashlight? Maybe you can identify that they have a lacking of something in their system. Or you can identify something that you could get or make to actually make their life a lot better. And that's the whole, the whole piece of the puzzle here that we're trying to, to solve. And uh, the holidays can be very stressful. And I invite you not to be stressed out and to start as early as possible if you do buy gifts for other people. Uh, some people have stopped doing the gift giving a long time ago. Uh, they don't like to participate in the commercialization of the holidays. And uh, some people don't even recognize the holidays as they are. And that's, that's your business. Uh, but I think that it is really important, though, to give gift giving a bit of thought. You don't really want to ever just go at the very last minute to a big box store and get a pre-wrapped gift just to get a gift. I would rather go empty handed than just give them something that is obvious that you never really get much thought. So uh, those are just my two cents. Uh, in terms of my suggestions, um, it would just be that. And I think that this year I'm not going to give you specific examples of really interesting, cool gear just because it's just my opinion that, that it's interesting and cool. But I really have a hard time thinking that you know, things that would make you prepared would be a bad thing. So preparedness gear, uh, you know, if you can enhance their everyday carry gear, you know, maybe a person uses a multi-tool all day and they've got a really crappy multi-tool and their multi-tool is falling apart. And you can identify that and you're like, hey, man, uh, what's up with your multi-tool? And they say, oh, I, this is all I can afford, but and it's starting to fall apart, but I'm making do with what I have. Well, maybe what you can do is get them a nice multi-tool, whatever's in your budget. Get, just get the nicest multi-tool that you can afford. And they would probably appreciate that more than you probably would ever know because they're going to be reminded of you in that gift all day, every day. And because they're going to be interacting with that. Some of my most favorite gifts are things that I'm actually using all the time. You know, when I go in my little kitchen, and I have certain things that have been given to me over the years. I mean, it's hard not to be reminded of the, of the person who gave that to me because I'm using it. And I mean, it was, it was very thoughtful, you know, when certain people give you things that really make your life better. And so just think of that, you know, there's a part of the holidays, the gift giving holidays that, that really allows us to reflect on charity. And charity of the heart is something that um, gets uh, kind of overshadowed by the materialistic types of 
of goings on this time of the year. Uh, but I'd also say besides worrying about a material gift, uh, do something that is non-material, something that can be appreciated uh, outside of if you have money or not. Uh, there are so many things out there that you can make with your hands uh, or that you can take something that is special to someone and and uh, and clean it up or refurbish it. You know, I know there's some people that have antique furniture that's been given down from the generations of their family. Uh, sometimes that furniture is really in bad repair. And if you can repair it or, you know, or uh, maybe uh, rework it and resurface it or maybe put a, a fresh coat of paint on it, uh, you'd be surprised. People would probably be really appreciative of that. You know, just like uh, maybe you have some home repairs that need to be done. Wouldn't that be nice if maybe one of your friends for Christmas came over and spent a day with you as the Christmas gift to help you fix your house up? I mean, things like that are really meaningful and sometimes the best gifts. So, hey, you guys be safe and careful. Stay within your budget for the holidays. Wish you the very best on your gift giving adventures. I'll catch you later.